Andrew Laswell, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. Well, thank you for letting us come and enjoy your beautiful neighborhood in Bon Air here. Indeed, thanks for being here. How long have you lived here? Uh, for eight years now, almost, yeah. Yeah, I heard that you're, you're like one of the neighborhood's unsung heroes. I love it. I love it. Tell me what you do. Um, I don't know about that. I'm, I'm probably most well known in the neighborhood for uh, for being a fire performer, fire breather, fire juggler, and stuff like that. And I make sure to do a, uh, a little little gig out there in front of my house at the end of Halloween every year, and oh. uh, the neighbor people come out to watch. And uh, invariably, I uh, ensnare a couple of uh, other people that have come to the neighborhood just for trick or treat who had no idea that that, that was happening. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. Well, I, I'd imagine because this is such a cozy, comfy little kind of kind of like a, a little nook there, that most folks don't even know about Bonaire. Oh, uh, that's right. Uh, it, six out of eight people don't have never heard of Bonaire, and <laughs> the other and the other two, you'll say Bonaire, and they're like, I've heard of that. <laughs> Where is that? Guilty as and, charged. Yeah, so they have no idea. <laughs> Well, uh, if, if you've been around, they have, uh, uh, we're surrounded at about uh, 270 degrees by trees. Mm -hmm. We'll go down to Route 51 over here and Route 51 over there and uh, Bowsman and McKinley Park over here. There's really only one street in and out, so there's no through traffic. Nobody ever comes through here trying to uh, go somewhere else. So it's quiet and, and, again, you know, unknown. I only found this place because I went driving looking for Christmas lights to to look at and make fun of, and, uh, oh. and trust, there are plenty. <laughs> <laughs> trust me, there are plenty to <laughs> make fun of. There are plenty back here, yeah, and, and we, we're like, this is a very nice place, and when it came time for us to consider uh, purchasing a home, uh, we did just that. We looked back in here, we looked in a few other neighborhoods, but we realized, you know, back in here would be a good place to be. Great place um, to raise children. And, indeed, it, it certainly seems nice, yeah. It does, it does, and I, I love the fact that it's so green. Trees everywhere. Yes, yeah. So what is your absolute favorite thing about Bon Air? My favorite thing about Bon Air, uh, I don't know, the, the, the fact that people are, are out, out and about uh, you know, every day, at any, at any point of the day, there's somebody out walking a dog or people out, you know, strolling around. I actually like to see that, you know, this, you know, people get, you know, more involved in like exercise walking and mm. make this, you know, the, the, the healthy neighborhood or something like that. That'd be nice. It would be. You know. I was gonna, just going to ask we'll you, see. what would you change? And that's yeah. great. That's great. So would you say, though, that you know your neighbors? I do, uh, more so than whenever I lived in Southside. I lived in oh. Southside for many, many, many years in a handful of uh, places, uh, very close, you know, very tight together, and people surrounding you on all sides and total uh, strangers. Total strangers. Uh, even even my, my last apartment was a, you know, a house uh, in uh, Knoxville, just a, a few blocks up the street there. Um, and you know it was nice and quiet, but I still only you know knew like the the neighbors directly next door, and I really didn't know anybody else mm. around. When I moved down here, within a week, I already knew like more than five times uh, as many people as I knew in any of my old houses. <laughs> that's yeah. that's beautiful in yeah, one week. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Well, I'm still going to ask you, what mm -hmm. would you change, or what would you a say that you would like to happen would like to happen to Bon Air that would improve it? Well, I'd like to see, uh, we have a couple of locations uh, that are, uh, one is a city owned, one is privately owned, that I think would make great community gardens. Ah, more green. You know, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and not only that, but, but gardening, and a chance mm -hmm. for people to get together and garden together and share mm -hmm. stuff like that. Uh, my wife's actually planning one of these years on uh, terracing the, the front oh. hillside and growing just a handful of vegetables out there with a little sign uh, extolling people to go ahead and, and take some just because you know oh, that's beautiful yeah. that, that creates a great yeah. community yeah it would be yeah i think i think it'd be neat yeah. well from what i've noticed because it is small you must leave your neighborhood to get some of the essentials groceries pharmacy those kinds of things right we have no business district none yeah. at all does that affect you in any way or, or, or is it things so close I, that I, it doesn't I, matter i suppose and i i think that that may be one of the things that kind of um in, uh, tra uh, traps Bon Air mm. uh, in a uh, no, not not in a bad way, but it preserves Bon Air. Uh, uh, That's a better word. Uh, we, we have we haven't mm. really changed that much. This neighborhood hasn't hasn't developed, does not go through as much uh, transformation as you find in neighborhoods that do have those downtown districts. Uh, you know, like the South Side or Lawrenceville, Lawrenceville yeah. or Garfield. Um, you know, those places because they have that uh, flux that responds to uh, bigger. Uh, economic, uh, you know, pressures and uh, trends and stuff like that. 
those those drive trans transformations in those neighborhoods. Right, right. Bon Air, we don't have that, so we don't have uh, that such transformation. All we had is a, they closed the school, so we can't have community civic meetings in the school now. Mm. We have to have them in the uh, gazebo, you know, behind me. That's that's, are, that's about are, the biggest transformation that we we've, we've had. But uh, does that is that a concern for you, or is that all right? It's not. No, it's not a concern for me. I just it's just an interesting fact. Mm. Yeah. Okay. What do you see Bon Air in 25 years, or how do you see it, how envision it? Uh, I think it'd be pretty much the, the same as, as it is now, although, like I, like I say, it would be neat to, uh, for Bon Air to be known uh, for either being the most healthful or the greenest. Uh, you know, if there were some uh, initiatives to allow people uh, uh, to save money on solar panels or wind energy or something like that, ah. J just because it's so small that any uh, little bit of uh, uh, increase in that uh, would be uh, a greater percentage of the community mm -hmm. than, say, another, a another larger neighborhood. Community, you, you go right. to, you know, like a, you know, a trendier, larger neighborhood, and uh, a handful of people put in solar panels. Well, it's still only a handful of people. And Bon Air, if a handful speaking, of people put it in, that's like the whole community. That, right, that's that, fabulous. Yeah, yeah. That's fabulous. So I'd like to see that. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about some of your local landmarks. Do you? Anybody? Yeah, I saw I saw on the, the the interview sheet ahead of time that there's something about local landmarks, and there, there's you know not much of anything you know beyond this nice gazebo and this uh, memorial uh, to uh, veterans we have behind us, mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, which is a community gathering place. Yeah, right? Yes, and now the shut down school, which is only used for as a polling place for elections. Uh, you know, we don't have much. Uh, what do you think that would be? Uh, what do you think would be best right there in that that beautiful building? It's a beautiful building. You know, in in the in the school, it'd be it'd be very nice if there were uh, uh, yeah, community groups that could that could gather there. Uh, night schooling, you know, oh. like uh, uh, enrichment programs for right. adults or something like that. Maybe yeah. you know, something through CCAC. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's a good idea. I should actually look into that. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> we'll look into that on my day. I love it. Um, if 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 you were to look at another neighborhood in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. and you start, I'm inspired by that. What they did in that neighborhood. What neighborhood would that be, and why? Um, Garfield, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and to a lesser extent, uh, Lawrenceville. Uh, even though Lawrenceville does a, a lot of it, uh, Garfield has you know, re uh, you know really pulled itself together uh, on their main drag because of their uh, devotion to the arts. Right. And they right. you know they got the big art thing at the beginning of every month. Like I said, Lawrenceville has the same idea where they've you know they've certainly you know, grown up and in a more you know more cultural. Uh, they seem to be a lot more in the way of um, you know shows or, you know music right. and comedians and stuff like that maybe down in Lawrenceville, uh, whereas more actual visual art happens up in in Garfield. Um, that's inspiring, and I really like it. Uh, although I'm not, I'm not sure what you know how that could be reflected here and right. and, and bond.